Okay, Jacinda Ardern last night said in her open statement to New Zealand on her podium that getting the vaccine, and she and I'll take note, she says this in the most innocent, unmotivated way, but that big smile, that eternal fake smile, um, said that, you know, if we all get adults getting vaccinated, what that does is it creates a barrier to giving COVID to the children, and slightly different words. Right, now that's a really good way of saying if you don't get vaccinated, then you might be some kind of child killer. And that's, of course, is a really great way of saying, uh, hey, New Zealand, all those guys that live next door that are not interested in getting a vaccine, um, you can beat up on them, you can hate them, you can ostracize them. All said so innocently, but you know, my, obviously every politician, especially when they're standing on a stage, calculates what they're saying and the effect of what they're saying right down to the letter. So don't give me this innocence. <sighs> now, let's be clear on the vaccines. As we see in Israel and um, what's that place? Iceland, who are very heavily vaccinated countries. Uh, both coming out saying, hey, guess what, everyone? They're not working. I mean, the Delta variant is still spreading like wildfire in those countries. And that shouldn't surprise any of us because it's been well understood for eons by people who deal with vaccines and the scientists and all that area that basically natural immunity for the most part can be relied on to be variant tolerant, but not uh, vaccine stuff because vaccines... It's like a very crude, basic form of natural immunity that's induced. Um, just like with the flu, what that means is that we're never going to have herd immunity. Well, where you do get herd immunity, it still doesn't stop the spread. You still get a constant low-level spread with herd immunity. So all you can possibly be doing with these vaccines is slowing down the spread. At the end of the day, Every single one of us are going to taste the COVID virus or Delta or any other variant, including the kids. So what do vaccines do, supposedly, uh, is they reduce uh, the symptoms. So really, they slow down the inevitable to a degree. And But what they don't do is they don't... Uh, they don't protect others from the virus. Again, the inevitable, inevitable is going to happen. If you get a vaccine, you're protecting yourself by reducing symptoms at the most. And because of that, compulsory vaccination should be off the table. Absolutely off the table. Because it doesn't do anything for the wider society. And it won't do anything. Again, just like the flu. We never, we never eradicated that and we won't. We keep it down, we keep it suppressed, and let people still get it, and 500 New Zealanders a year still die from it. But yeah, so what? COVID is in a similar boat. But that's why we don't want um, compulsory vaccination. There's no respectable argument for it whatsoever. And as far as killing all the kids go, Jacinda, nice trick, nice move. Um, they are the least vulnerable group, group by far. So what a disgusting thing to say. What a dirty thing to say. To say, oh, it's all about protecting the children. No, it's protecting yourself. Now, as for the vaccines, many people are not going to get them. By choice, I'm one of them. And that's because it's an experimental status vaccine, novel treatment, you've heard it a million times before, which is true. The only way you can speed up testing for medium to long term testing on any given vaccine or any medication is to first invent a time machine. I'm sorry, but it takes time. Uh, again, highly novel treatment. It's got lipid nanoparticles that are designed to break the go past the blood brain barrier. From what I understand, the lipids were originally engineered specifically to do that for other forms of medication to get into the brain. And they induce an inflamed response in the body, so the immune system reacts to the lipids, which is could have an interesting long-term effect, leading to inflammation. And it's uh, there are other questions as well relating to the, what happened with these mRNA vaccines and animal trials and other. 
Um, so sorry, Jacinda, you are not my one source of truth. I listen to alternative opinions from expert scientists, uh, elite scientists as well, not people with tinfoil hats. Nice move again. No elite scientists. And I don't want to be getting that vaccine. And I won't tolerate being told that I'm going to be a kitty killer or something like that uh, uh, for choosing not to get vaccinated. So you can get New Zealand to... Uh, uh, ostracize me and isolate me and call me awful names or whatever you know which is what I have to say it sorry the Nazis did to the Jews they got all Germany against them uh, yeah I'm not saying we're going with that extreme but it's the same fundamental techniques are starting to come out there where the government wants to use social pressure to get everybody vaccinated irrationally vaccinated and um yeah, one way to do that is, is to wind everybody who has got vaccinated up uh, to demonise those who choose not to get the vaccine. Don't you dare. Okay, thank you. That's all I want to say.